Hi everybody, happy Memorial Day. I wanna to come to you and show you just a really quick tip and trick and inexpensive way to make your own eyeshadow palette. And it is out of this e.l.f. custom compact palette that you're actually going to change and create your own palette not even with these circular things in it at all, unless you want to keep it that way. But the intention of this palette is you buy it and you buy separate individual shadows, each for a dollar from Target or from elf.com or Kmart, and you make your own eyeshadow palette. That's well and great, but I've got plenty of eyeshadow palettes. I didn't really want to make one. So what I did was I read on Makeup Alley where people were utilizing these for MAC eyeshadows, which I don't own any, so I didn't feel like doing that either. Um, or you can take the plastic piece out which separates all of these and you can stack different eyeshadows in here no matter what the size or shape of them really. So I thought that was a brilliant idea. Um, so I went ahead and tried it yesterday to see how difficult it would be or how easy it would be. And I want to show you my end result or kind of my result that I'm still working on. Um, but basically it looks like this. It comes with a mirror that is a very, very big mirror. I mean, my all of my fingers pretty much cover up this mirror. And then these are the eyeshadows I stuck in here. These are old eyeshadows. Keep in mind, don't judge. I have totally hit pan on most of these. But I've had these eyeshadows for forever. I probably just need to get rid of them. But instead, I'm bringing them new life in this palette. These top four here were from a CoverGirl quad. It was called Delicate, Delicate Airs. And I don't know if they even make this anymore. But it was white, light purple, or lavender... Um, a champagne and a taupe color and I used to use these when I first started wearing makeup and I'd foil them I'd wet my brush and, and dip it in here so I did hit pan very quickly these two down here are by All May and it was in a single palette but they're connected um, literally you can just run your brush over them and hit pan in the middle if you want but they're connected this is like a champagne color and this is a brown a good brown for your crease I have no idea what the name of this was because it had worn off of that palette and then this was a single eyeshadow from Sephora that I received for free for my birthday one year. And it's this just little circular white eyeshadow called Aspen Summit. And I put a magnet on the back of it and it's literally sticking right to this palette. It's magnetized. So um, awesome, awesome palette. I'm very excited about this. What I'm more excited about, not necessarily are these colors, but just the wide range of things I can put in this palette. I can make a dark brown palette, I can make a light brown palette, a white highlight palette, um, anything like that. And it's very, very simple. So I'm going to show you how I did it right now. So you buy this for a dollar. You come home and, oops, it's turned upside down. And it looks like this. So you get it and it's empty. Then what you do is you take something sharp you can get underneath or pointy. I should say that you can get underneath this white plastic because it's separated from if you see this this separated from the, the main piece itself I took an old pair of tweezers that were very sharp and I accidentally bent them really bad um, but I took that and I just got right up underneath this plastic piece and pulled it right out like that it was very very easy for me and so that left me with this metal piece right here that's magnetized or that can be magnetized if you stick a magnet to it. Then you take this CoverGirl single shadow or whatever shadow you want to use, but this is what I'm choosing to put in that palette next. Um, it's the Champagne. And I'm going to take that same pair of, or it's not a pair anymore because I broke it, but the same piece of tweezer. And you get right next to the eyeshadow. Now, some people I have seen wore, they wear um, they wear on the back of it, whether they beat on it or they warm it up. You just get you can get that loosened up that way. Or I choose to get in here right beside of this palette and pull it right up like this. This single eyeshadow literally is just pulling right up. I'll show you this side. You see this right here? It's coming right up. Just like this. Oh yeah. And that's glue where they originally stuck this in this palette. So I'm going to discard this. I don't need this anymore. And I'm going to take this and either stick a magnet on the back of it or see how tacky this is. It's still pretty tacky. So I can actually choose to stick it right here in my palette. Because it still has enough sticky left. 
for it to stick to this palette. You see? So then I can just take more eyeshadows and depop them and line them in here. Um, the eyeshadows that I don't tend to reach for. I usually reach for palettes. My Naked palette, my Elf palette. I like palettes where I have a lot of choices. And this one I can make whatever I want to. I can take little square ones and put them in here. Circular ones. However, and here I have two different palettes that... I mean, it's a dollar each, and all it takes is just a little bit of time to be able to pull those shadows out and then think about what you want to put in each one. So uh, I love this. I am plan on buying more of these. The only thing is I need a little help trying to figure out how to label my palettes so I'll know that, like, this is a highlight palette, this is a champagne palette, this is a dark brown palette, you know, whatever I choose to put in here because they're all going to end up looking the same side by side. So... Unless I just know I want to be able to label them. So I'm going to think about that. I have thought about taking the actual names of them off the back of like this single shadow, shadow right here. I could take the name off, glue it on here. I don't know. Try to figure that out. But for right now, I'm just super, super excited about what I made. Thank you, Makeup Alley, for giving me this idea. Hope you try it. Um, I hope you like it. Tell me what you think. Tell me if you have already done it or um, if you just went ahead and bought a Z palette or a MAC palette so you can make your own that way. Um, this is just a more inexpensive version of it that is very affordable and is awesome, I think, in my opinion, to make. And um, just really quickly, two more things. I want to show you what I wore today to my Memorial Day cookout. Um, I braided my hair on the side right here and connected them in the back kind of um, like a Native American-ish reminds me of. I've got these really super awesome earrings and this dress with this tribal print on it. And it just comes to, I mean, right about my mid-thigh. And it cinches here at the waist. So, absolutely love this dress. My watches I'm wearing, I'm wearing this watch by Relic. It's my gold watch. Um, this bracelet and then just my gold sandals. So that is what I wore to my cookout today for Memorial Day. And on that note, I want to say thank you so much to everybody who has ever served in our military. My father, my grandparents, my mother. I've got, well, my mother was a military child. She lived in the military for years and years and years because her parents were in the military. Um, if you've ever been influenced by the military, impacted by the military, thank you for your service. Um, my cousins, I've got plenty of people in my family, um, an extended family who have served our country and um, who, who I'm maybe I'm not even related to who served for our freedom. And just thank you so much for the time that you took um, to serve for somebody else. And I, I appreciate you. I appreciate everything you've done. And I hope that you got to enjoy your Memorial Day and your freedom, and I hope you have a wonderful day, and I'll talk to you later. Bye.